Mileage pay is a ripoff and companies know it. Well, I guess you got a point there, but you got to look at it from another standpoint. Back in the day when, when, uh, let's say there's, let's just say there's a, there's not a recession going on. Everything's fine, right? And, um, you get, you get percentage pay. Well, the company would leave you sitting at the truck stop for weeks on end. Yes, sir. How you doing? Back in the building, Chris. What's up, man? Long time no hear from my G. Long time. How are you doing today? Man, I can't call it. I can't call it, man. So, hey, let's let's do some catch up, man. So, uh, since the last time we talked, uh, I think it was at least over a year ago or a year and a half ago. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a long yeah, probably a year and a half. Yeah, it's been yeah. a long while. What 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 you been doing since uh since then? Catch you know, catch me up to where you at right now. Oh, uh, same thing. Just been, you know, all the jet engines and and uh bought a chicken farm and that's all I've been doing. Uh just trying to keep employees since COVID has been hard to keep employees on a farm. All right, so you got so you you still got the well I noticed you you still got the same uh super sleeper truck uh you and your wife uh still out there on the road adventuring with your motorcycles and everything like that, right? Yes, yeah. All right, all right. So, man, so wow. So you say it's hard to keep employees, so you got another truck? No, no, I bought I bought a farm. Mm-hmm. Um, well, actually, it's been over a year ago, two years, almost two years, come December. Uh, you know, 20,000 20, chickens, 2,000 roosters, you know, 500 foot barns, bison. Okay, okay. So you saying it's hard to keep employees to keep the farm up while y'all gone? Yeah, yeah, we we bought, we bought a COVID hit, and everybody started getting free money, so nobody wanted to come to work. You know, right? That shit crazy, man. I, that shit is awfully crazy, man, that everybody complains, complains of not not work being available, but every everywhere in their mama, everywhere in their mama is, um, is, um, whoop, hold on. There we go. Everybody in the mama is hiring. It's it's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, but everybody wants five hundred dollars an hour or something. I mean, and I think the target's going to be raising their pay up to, up to twenty four dollars an hour mm-hmm. here you know, over the next year, I think. And what, what's that going to do to everybody else that works in the you know McDonald's going to have to do the same thing? They they they're gonna have to uh, play catch up. We, we won't then, be able to afford any food then. But then you got to think of it this way: even though they're going up in price, they even though they're going up in uh in pay, they might not even be getting the hours to match it. Though you know, they probably might be That's working. True. They probably might be working fifteen hours a week, uh, twenty hours a week. So they still not going to see that significant pay bump. I mean, they'd say, oh, yeah, well, we're making $25 an hour, but if you're not getting, like, 35, 40 hours plus overtime a week, you're still not, you're, you're still not seeing uh, seeing anything in your pay. You're not personally seeing it, but the business needs to go out the, out the window. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. That's, that's how they do in trucking. You know, they'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, we got, we, we got you at 70 cents a mile. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm... You know, new jacks come on here. I'm making seventy cents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how many miles a week you getting though, bro? You know, how, how many yeah, miles yeah. is it? Is it is it fifteen? Is it twenty? Because if you're not getting if you're not getting three thousand or more, then ain't no way that you're seeing you know two thousand plus dollars a week, bro. I'm just saying. No, no, that's what I've always told everybody too. When the pay goes up, the miles go down. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's uh let's jump into it, man. TikTok, bro. I mean, what talk talk to me, man. What what happened to YouTube? I mean, you you was a you was a staple over in the YouTube community, and then 
all of a sudden I saw you start jumping on TikTok and then you kind of slowed down, but then you came back out, you know, you came back out when uh when that chick curvy trucker made her made her uh TikTok about, you know, percentage pay versus uh, mileage pay and she said she says and we want to get you a quote on this she says that companies are ripping you off with that you should just go straight percentage and uh you you definitely yeah. you you definitely came back with your your thoughts on that so i, I want to get i want to get your thoughts on that mileage pay is a ripoff and companies know it well, I guess you got a point there, but you got to look at it from another standpoint. Back in the day, when, when, uh, let's say there's, let's just say there's, a, there's not a recession going on. Everything's fine, right? And um, you get, you get percentage pay. Well, the company would leave you sitting at the truck stop for weeks on end, waiting for that two dollar a mile load, and you didn't make anything. So they came up with a happy medium because back then everything paid percentages normally. And I mean 30 years back. All right. So now all of a sudden, or back then, they went to a mileage pay. So you, they could take cheaper freight. The company wants you to make a living wage. We'll call it a living wage. But they don't care about anything other than that, about their own pocket. That's called business. Now, right now, freight's paying crazy amounts. And I can see where you feel like you might be getting, you know, shafted. But it works both ways, and you can't expect companies to keep jiggling it back and forth just to please a driver. Because truthfully, and you know it, if if you're not if you're a trucker, you're going to complain. You're never happy. So that's what. It well, you you got to stay liquid in this industry when it comes to that, because in recession times, you might do better off with mileage pay. Because the freight rates drop so bad. Mm -hmm. Now, in a, in a good time, you do a lot better with, with the percentage pay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I always work, try to work, you know, at least the places where I get percentage. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, what, she's, what she's saying is true, but you got to be flexible. But it sounds like she's actually making really good money with the company she's with. Mm -hmm. But it, you know, it's not the same for everybody. Because a lot of times when you're getting that percentage, you also might be getting a, a, a 2290 mm -hmm. instead of a W2, which right. means you might have to pay your own taxes. Right, right. Yeah, 1099. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know how to handle that. You know, when I when I started my business uh, years ago, yeah, that that 1099 thing was 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 a was a cure to you know, to handle and to understand, but I was able to get a grasp on it because like the first, like the first year, two years, you know, I owed the government big time. I, and I didn't even, I didn't even understand why, but when I got a good CPA, you know, she was like, you know, well, I can do this. You could put this on this and this on that. And kind of like, you know, kind of like made my payments a little bit better than what they was. So I was like, cool. But for people that don't understand, and a lot of, and a lot of these new guys that's coming in, they 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 don't even understand the logistics of ten ninety nine and the re and 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 the realization of ten ninety nine. You're you're responsible for just about any and everything from taxes, medical, four hundred one ks, all that stuff. And they, you know, some of these guys don't seem to understand that they looking at that first paycheck. Oh, I got my, I got my $3,000. I got my $4,000. But, bro, you know, you got to, you got to break that down, right? Right. Yeah, you sure do. It's a whole different ball game. Yeah, it is. It's definitely a whole different ball game. All right, so yeah, the company, uh, I, I think, I think she's a flat better because I, I had a conversation with her. Uh, about a year ago, I I brought her on because uh, one of her one of her friends uh hit me to her because she was she started the OnlyFans and I thought that was a good topic of conversation and when I did talk to her you know it was 
I want to say, well, I got to go back and listen to it, but I want to say the conversation was good, kind of, I guess, kind of, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure it was. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, she's, uh, she's heavy on TikTok. I mean, you know, it's a lot of you guys that was heavy on YouTube is, is now heavy on TikTok. What about you, Chris, man? I mean, you you was heavy on YouTube at one point, but uh, you decided to start doing a lot of content on TikTok. Why why did you make the move? Well, I got on TikTok a couple years ago, and my other channel uh, that I, well, it, it, got, it got banned, you know, for some who knows why. But it was actually doing better than this channel is. I had to restart over. As far as YouTube goes, I'm not left YouTube. I just haven't had the time uh, since I bought the chicken farm to devote time to it. And it, all of these social media platforms are kind of disparaging when well, I, 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 people blow up for different reasons, you know? Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're not good reasons. Mm -hmm. And I don't really want to be one of those people so I'm kind of just keeping more of a low profile. <laughs> we 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 know we we all know about we all know about the gist, man. Every everybody everybody tends to you know blow up for different reasons, and like you said, you know I agree with you. Some of them is good, some of them is bad. But you know it's just that I just noticed that uh that a lot of a lot of us that was on YouTube. You know, a lot of us, you know, you know, bounced over to TikTok for the for the Insta fame. You know, they I talked to a few people that, um, you know, that that was on YouTube as a staple. And I kind of asked them, I was like, well, why you leave? And, you know, they they was honest. You know, they didn't beat around the bush. They said, you know, YouTube is hard. You know, it's, it's hard to you know, it's hard to find a niche. It's hard to find. You know, subscribers, it's hard to find followers. And I went over to TikTok. I made one video, posted that morning, and then overnight it was just instant. You know, I gained I gained ten thousand views overnight, about five thousand followers overnight, and I just kept you know, building from there, building and building and building. And all of a sudden I'm, you know, just blown up on TikTok and just, you know, left YouTube alone because it was just, it was just too hard. So, you know, I'm over here, I, I'm over here like, well, damn. Uh, let me, let me try TikTok for a minute. So, you know, I got on the, I got on the bandwagon. I made an account and you know, and I started noticing some little shit, you know, and then all of a sudden it's it started getting congested because it's like every for you on the for you page. Every time I scroll up, there's a new driver coming on there talking about something that didn't make no sense. Yeah. Then there's another driver that's talking about something that didn't make no sense. And then they talking about something. Then uh. all of a sudden it just blew up. And I was like, you know what? My content is for YouTube, especially when it comes to trucking. I'll just leave my YouTube, my content for YouTube and trucking over here and the bullshit that I see over here on TikTok. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, TikTok's a different animal. But it would, it's got, I think, 10 billion downloads. I mean, so, so socially, it's the most downloaded social media app in the world mm -hmm. and it doesn't have a search engine i mean it's not like google has has youtube right mm -hmm. to start youtube has google to search for it mm -hmm. so you can get found there so nobody's going to find you but with 10 billion you still have 10 billion possibilities mm -hmm. and god that the the tiktok algorithm is it's really yeah. good at what it does which ain't good for us sometimes. <laughs> that's that's true. That's true, man. That's true. But like I said, I, I can't. It, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. It was all Gary's 
Jerry V's fault that I came over here, though, because he was like, it's the only place where you can, you notice how you post on Instagram mm-hmm. or, and, and just don't, don't go nowhere. It just sits there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, the same people or that's it. But mm-hmm. TikTok's random enough that you never know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And I'll I like gi- that about it. I'll give it that. You know, I, I'll definitely give it that because, like I said, you 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 can post a video or a picture on you, you're right on Instagram and it just sits there and and it's only the same group of followers that sees it or comments on it or anything like that. I guess that's why Instagram made reels so it could be brought out to a more broader audience. But with TikTok, you 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 post the video depending on what it is because TikTok does have a bad habit of shadow banning people. But you know, you 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 put that one video out there, that one post out there, and it could go anywhere from zero views in 24 hours to boom over thousands of views, uh, 24 hours. So, like I said, it's good. But see what people fail to realize though that when they start taking that that tit that TikTok Insta fame, and it goes to their heads. People tend to forget about Vine. Y'all y'all remember Vine, right? Vine when uh, Vi- I they- never messed with it, but I know what it is. Mm-hmm. And when Vine got brought out by Twitter, what did Twitter do? Twitter shut it down. And what did everybody oh. do from Vine? Came right back to YouTube. <laughs> You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. (laughs) (laughs) So that's why I'm saying don't 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 put all your eggs in this basket in this TikTok basket because as of right now it's 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 the it's the shit, it's the twinding, it's the it's the thing, but Somebody going to be interested in buying it, Mark Zuckerberg, and you know, you know what's going to happen when when that happened. Just saying. So you just never know. Well, I try to post everywhere. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's the same content and repurpose content, or sometimes it's like TikTok stuff. I just leave on TikTok. I just never know what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. And uh, at any time, I've usually got a hundred TikToks made sitting in queue over there. That's crazy, and, man. Uh, and I got to get back to the YouTube thing. Now, see, I've been home. Last year, I was only worked five months, and and I've been home since September. I just came out mm-hmm. last Thursday. Mm-hmm. So oh, I was home for five or six months. So when you're not when you're not on the road, you can't make no content. And that's and you know what, and that's another thing too. You know, a lot of a lot of the content creators you know, call themselves trying to, that was in trucking, that was making content from trucking. And then they try to turn around and do something else other than trucking. And they notice that nobody wasn't caring. Nobody wasn't listening. Nobody wasn't tuning in. Nobody wasn't watching. And then you get right back in the truck. (laughs) Well, the chicken farm thing is, is for retirement. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't want to quit trucking. I have no intentions of that, but I am 56 now, so I'm thinking further down the line. There you go. That's what's yeah. up. That's definitely so, what's up. I, I, the place should run itself without me, mm-hmm. but right now it ain't working that way because nobody wants to go to work. Exactly, and that's kind of that, that's kind of crazy, man. But hopefully, hopefully it should change. I guess, but. I I don't know, man. I I really, I really and truly don't do not know what's gonna happen in the near future, man. Because like I said, my son graduated uh, from college during the pandemic, and you know the the specific uh, industry that he's in. Yeah, yeah. It's just I just hope it changed, though, man. All right, Chris, man. I sure hope so. Chris, man, I appreciate you calling, you know, getting back with me, checking in. Hey, you know, uh, 
you know, I initially got a hold of you by when you actually did that video about the uh, the 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 driver cam. You know, I, I, yep. I you know I made the call to Litech and actually talked to one of their sales reps, and and it's on the it's on the channel, man. Uh, you know, they was he was explaining to me about the new system now because you know it's much more advanced now they can they can actually tell when your eyes move and and and, and everything like that so you know wow. I, you know I, he was telling me that it can do that now and they can actually live stream you know because you know how you know how the recruiters now you know they want to be like oh well it don't it don't record you until you in in, in an incident or nothing like that no i i rebutted right. i rebutted that bro because bro said you can go in any time of the day and click on truck number 123 and it'll actually bring up a a live feed of what you guys doing in that truck Yes, they will, but them them recruiters and companies li are lying to the drivers so badly. Mm -hmm. They they don't tell the truth, and then when and then when they come across a guy like me, and I tell them, well, you know, I I I know about the driver cam system, and yeah, but no, 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 it 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 don't record. It only record in in, in the event of a uh of a in an event. Well. How do you think it, it it gets the recording? It has to it has to record in order to get the event, which is five seconds before and five seconds back. How do you think it gets that? Right. <laughs> they think that we're really stupid. <laughs> right. How how do you think it gets that? It is constantly recording until the event happens. Oh, no, no, the, the camera don't come. I'm telling you, the camera don't come on until it. Uh, okay, you know what? I, You know what? You should come on to my channel and look at the Litech video because me and the guy at Litech, the sales rep, the main guy that I had to talk to in order to get the setup for my fleet, he was the one that told me the actual truth. So, Who's lying, you or him? Right. <laughs> so, so yeah, man, definitely go over there and check it out, man. But Chris, man, it's it's always a pleasure talking to you, man. Uh, you definitely do good content and everything. Where other uh, what's what's the new name for the uh TikTok now so people can find you? Oh, Steel Trucking Review. Uh, it's Trucking Review. I took my trucking review channel one, so I had to make a new one. It's just trucking review. All right, that's what's up, y'all. Y'all go over there, check out my man Chris. He's been a staple. Uh, how how many years now, man? Thirty, thirty plus. Yeah, thirty. Yeah, ninety three. So I guess I'm thirty. Jeez, man. So if you guys, you know, I keep telling you guys, you know, y'all y'all think I'm. Y'all think I be jaw jacking over here that I don't that that I don't know people uh, that been in this industry for thirty plus years that I can actually call up and get some good advice from. This is one of those guys that you know that that gives me some good advice, and he's the main one that I can actually talk to about certain aspects of of the industry. But you guys, you know, y'all want to go over there and look at the look at the rookie. That get it, you know, they look at the rookie that get his, you know, stuff stuck in things and all like that and think I'm hating on him because I'm trying to give him some good advice, you know, but right, to each his own, everybody. Chris, man, I appreciate you, man. Thank you very much for chopping in, man. All right. You have a spectacular day. Be safe out there. I will, sir. I will. Till next time, man. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids who went pop. Def to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, the bars, you got bops. Heard you writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom to me, but go off. I'll make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, pum, pum. Y'all fit to me like this symphony. Your career's done, done, done.